It's to review Tuesday. Row the intro. Many years ago when I was learning about construction and home building, I recall having a task of drilling several holes in concrete, half inch holes for some anchors. And I don't know, I probably had to drill about that far in. And it was a lot of work because we didn't have a hammer drill, we just had like a regular drill, electric drill. And anytime now that I have a chance to test out a rotary hammer drill, I am very excited about it. And just, I can go back to that old memory and really appreciate the advancement and having the right tool for the job. So the first time I seen this exact Makita drill, that was three months ago in New York City at the Home Depot's prospective event. So let's check that out. Now we're using the, the small subcompact lightweight because this is an overhead application and for the tool that makes sense, I want long run time. I want an hour and a half out of run time on this, right? So that's where the dust collector yeah, hooks up. Hook up to. Okay. So now you have the subcompact really bridging two of the batteries. And then you get the run time power of two batteries. Absolutely. You have the footing so that you can go all day. You go an hour and a half. So yeah. I told him, can I climb up and start doing this? And no, we do not want to do that. Right? So, we're going to go ahead and make it right. All right, so now that's your average distance, right? Yep. Back it out, come out. No need for pressurized air, no need for vacuum, because again, it's all in one surface. This is gonna pick up most of it. Now you're ready to go. Yeah. And where it's on high, and that's gonna collect the dust. This is it right here. Pretty simple and straightforward to use. You can switch from just regular rotary to rotary hammer. There's a reverse, forward reverse. Has the depth gauge right here. Take a look at the battery. It has a battery level indicator, so it shows four red bars on it. So this is fully charged. Locks into place in the tool, nice and solid. Brushless motor. All right, so all you do is just pull the trigger. Oh yeah, and it does have a little light right down there. See if you can see that light. I always like to quickly read over the specs on the box just so you have the most accurate information. Two mode operation for rotation only or hammering with rotation for multiple applications. Compact and ergonomic design at only 10 and three quarters of an inch. Yes, I would definitely say that it does have a nice grip to it, nice and ergonomic grip. And it is compact, that's for sure. Weighs only four and a half pounds with battery. The battery on this one is not included, so I do have um, a separate battery and charger. So I'll have a link for that down below as well if you want to check that out. I'm going to zoom on this so you can see this nice and clear. Brushless motor delivers 0 to 680 RPMs, 0 to 4800 BPMs, and 0 0.81 foot-pounds slash 1.2 joules of impact energy for faster drilling. The efficient brushless motor is electronically controlled to optimize battery energy use up to 50% longer runtime per charge. It has a vibration absorbing handle which moves independently of the motor and hammering mechanism for increased operator comfort. That's great. Oh yeah, check this out. Three year warranty, lithium ion tool and battery. This is model XRH06ZB. Uses LXT 18 volt batteries. We need to test this out, and I do have a Bosch bit that I'm going to put in here. It's a dust extracting bit. I reviewed that. So I'll have a link down below to that video in case you want to get a bit that has that silica compliant for the OSHA regulations. So let's go over to my testing zone. <music>
All right, so I have a project I'm gonna use this rotary hammer on and this Bosch speed clean bit. Right here is a, let's see, yeah, right there is a concrete block, solid concrete. It's a four inch block, but I'm gonna drill down three and three quarters of an inch. So I put a little piece of painter's tape right there. So I have that as a guide. This drill also includes a depth guide, but it's not long enough for the bigger bits. All right, so what I'm installing is a Simpson Strong Bolt 2. It's a three and three quarter inch depth. All right, so my plan is to drill a hole, put the bolt, and then I have this bracket right here that I'm gonna mount on that right there. All right, so let's start drilling and test this out. Oh, also, this speed clean bit has a vacuum hose that connects to that right there, and it pulls the dust through this bit right there and out into this hose right here. So I'll make sure to lock this on tight and turn the vacuum on. So that was very quick and efficient. Loving it. All right, let's get a close up and I'll show you how you install this bolt. Okay, so you put that in the hole. All right, you thread that on there, then you hammer on that. See how that just slides really nice in the hole there? So that's all the way down. Locked into place. Put that there, that there. And grab your wrench. Okay, that feels really nice and snug. All right, so as you can see, this is quite strong. I'm guessing this is probably 30 pounds, I'm not sure. 30, 40 pounds. Easily lifts it up, nice and tight. And this is really quite lightweight, look at this. I mean, it's just quite amazing. And I recommend this Bosch speed bit just extracts the dust and it's actually faster because it pulls the dust through there and into your HEPA vacuum. All right, uh, if you want to learn more about the Makita drill, I will have a link down below as well as this bit. And I also want to mention that Makita makes a really cool backpack vacuum that you saw me use in the New York clip. So if you enjoy this video, you find it interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. So if you enjoy this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And if you want to connect with me throughout the week, please check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All right friends, enjoy.